In this video, I'm going to answer a question I got in a comment about the difference between the axis and the surface method. So this is mentioned in Y14.5. There's also information I'm going to reference from Y14.5.1, the math standard, and Y14.45, the new data measurement reporting standard. So basically what it says in the Y14.5 is that there's these two methods to verify a position or an orientation applied to a feature of size. You can use the surface method or the axis method, but the surface method, it takes precedence. Well, the surface method can only be used if you're using the MMC or the LMC concept. So that's the MMC symbol with the tolerance and the feature control frame. It just means that you're simulating the virtual condition with a physical gauge. So you could do this with a CMM. It can, if you take enough points, you can essentially simulate a physical gauge, but you're just simulating that virtual condition. If the part can clear that, it's good. So in the example I got on the board here, very simple block with a hole in it, a half inch plus or minus 20 thousandths, tolerance a, a 20 thousandths diameter at MMC. So the virtual condition for this hole is going to be the MMC size minus the position tolerance applied. So the MMC size is 0.48, the tolerance is 20 thousandths, so our virtual condition is 0.46. If we wanted to verify this with a gauge, it would be something like this, right? We've got a pin and then three planes to simulate the datums of omitted basic dimensions, but the pin would be the same basic dimension as the hole is from the sides of the part. Now, I'll just write that there, the diameter 0.46 inches. Now, you know, the this is theoretical. You'd have to have a tolerance on that diameter, and that goes to Y14.43, the, uh, the gauge standard. I'll, you know, omit that for now, but essentially if this part fits over the pin, you verified the position. All you have to do is make sure that hole isn't too big. You just check the LMC and you're done. Now, of course, you can't always make gauges for everything. So often, and I've made videos about this, you'll check this uh, tolerance applied to MMC the same way you would a, uh, a tolerance applied it regardless of feature size. You're going to simulate the actual mating envelope of that hole with a gauge pin, right? You're going to figure out where the axis of that gauge pin is, which is the axis of the unrelated actual mating envelope, and you're going to see if it's within this tolerance zone. What makes it different from regardless of feature size is just in the, how you sort the data, okay? So if there's no MMC symbol here, we only have 20 thousandths, you're done. If we do have the MMC symbol, now we need to know what size the gauge pin is, okay? So if the gauge pin is larger than the MMC of the hole, so bigger than uh, 0.48, we're gonna get additional tolerance here. So if the pin comes in at say 0.49, that's 10 thousandths bigger, we get 10 thousandths more tolerance for our position. So we're kind of accomplishing the same thing, right? We're verifying that tolerance. The reason the surface method takes precedence, and this is in the math standard, there's a nice figure uh, in Y14.51, there are situations where if the form of the part is off, but it still comes in within the limits of size, it could violate that virtual condition. So it's not perfect. And you know, I can't you know, give you any advice as to when you should or shouldn't use it. Uh, the, the standard says the surface method takes precedence, but a lot of people will measure this with a gauge pin, okay? Now, there are situations where you have the MMC, but you can't use the surface method. And the data measurement reporting standard addresses this and makes it very clear. If you have a negative virtual condition, you obviously can't use the surface method. You must use the axis method. Let me show you what I mean. 
Right. This is unlikely. You'll see something on a drawing, but it is, you know, there, there could be a situation where you could have a, a hole that could be <laughs> at a huge tolerance zone, but you want to control the size of the hole. More often, if you were going to see something wild like this, right, right now the orientation could be off by half an inch, which, you know, not ideal generally if something's going to fit in the hole, you would you would apply a perpendicularity to that hole. So you're getting a hole that's, you know, within a reasonable size tolerance, and it's perpendicular to datum A, but it can just be in a bunch of different places within this half inch diameter tolerance zone on the plate. If we do the same calculation we did before for the virtual condition, we're gonna find out that we would have a virtual condition of negative 20 thousandths. So if we try to make a gauge, it's just not going to work. You can't have a pin with a diameter of negative 20 thousandths. In that case, to check this, we must use, it doesn't have to be a gauge pin, it could be anything you, you, you could get to simulate the actual mating envelope, including a, a CMM. Uh, that's how you'd have to do it. And then figure out if the axis of the actual mating envelope is within this tolerance zone. And then it's a, a different check to see if it's oriented. Well, I say it's a different check. You're essentially same gauge pin. Now you're just checking both sides and seeing, you know, you can trig it out and figure out if it's within that uh, smaller uh, perpendicularity tolerance zone. Okay. Another situation where you must use a surface method is with a slotted hole or an elongated hole. Uh, the math standard doesn't give any support for the axis method with the with a slotted or elongated hole. It only shows it. Surface method, the Y145 only shows and explains how to do a slotted or elongated hole with the MMC principle. Now, the Y14.45, the data measurement standard, also clears up this term axis method. It calls it the resolve geometry method, which I totally agree with. When you say axis method, right, you might be measuring position of a center plane, right, but you're using the axis method. Resolve geometry applies to center plane, axis, or center point, the three things position controls. Any other kinds of features, you're basically using the, uh, the surface method. So that's it for this video. Just hopefully I answered that question. It's a kind of tricky part of the ASME standard. It's in the uh, first couple pages of position in every ASME standard, at least 1994. Uh, I know it's still in 2018. If you want to look in 2018, it's page uh, 180 when it explains it in position, and then pages 36 and 38 it explains it in, uh, I think, the general tolerancing section. So if you liked it, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.